Audrey, how are you? It's been a while, I know, I'm sorry. I went on holiday after a month of May happened. I went to the Lake District to relax. It was amazing. But then when I got home, I couldn't get back into the whole rhythm of working again. So I've only just got back into stride. So here I am, a little late, but uh, that's okay, right? You forgive me, right? Um, okay, so today I am going to show you how to make a little pair of summer pyjamas like these. And the only bit of clothing we're going to use to make these is one pair of pyjama pants. One pair of old pyjama pants that you're just not feeling anymore. Okay, so I happen to have this pair. Dun dun, of lovely leopard print ones. So I'm gonna use these. So you need that and you also need all of this stuff as well. So you need one pair of pyjama pants, some lace, a piece of elastic, some pins, needle and thread, tape measure, buttons and yeah, needle to go with the threads. There you go, that's what you need. That is what you need. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just lay them out flat, as always. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, after you've laid them down, is get a pair of shorts that you like the length of. So I've got these ones. I love these shorts. Um, okay, so you want to lay your shorts down on top of your pants so that you get the same kind of length. So just lay them down. It looks like that. So I've lined one leg up like that. You want the crotch in the same place and just line it up. I am going to leave a little bit of extra space. I'm going to leave about an inch because it never hurts to leave space in case anything goes wrong. And I'm just going to cut straight across there like that, following the line of the shorts. Okay, done that. So now it will look like this. Okay, so we'll just move that out of the way for the moment. We don't need it right now, but we are going to need it shortly. Remove the pants because the best way to get them to match is to use that cut. Fold it over and line it up. Okay, so that's them all lined up. I'm going to cut along that line now. Woohoo, one pair of shorts. Okay, great. Okay, so you have your little shorts like this. Now you have... And now you've got two legs like that. What you want to do is fold your leg in half. Like that. along the fold line so you have two tubes like that and then you want to unpick those tubes so that you have panels so in the end once you cut your legs up you should have four of these panels okay so you take your leg you chop it in half you unpick the seam and you end up with a panel like that. Do that four times. Okay, so I've done that, so now I've got four panels like this. Okay, so we're gonna use three of those panels to make the top pit bit. So what you wanna do is measure just around here, around the top of your bust, um, like this, where the top of the top will be. So my measurement around there is 32. So I'm going to add 10 inches on because I don't want it to be tight, I want it to be kind of ruched, if you know what I mean, it will make sense. Um, next you need your piece of elastic. You want that a little bit smaller than your measurement around here. So my measurement around there was 32 and my elastic measures just over 20. So that's what it's like, loose. And then if you put it round, then it gives it a little bit of stretch. But it's not too tight because you don't want it to just fall down when you're in bed, obviously, because you're not going to have a bra on or anything either in bed. So you don't want it to be too loose. But you don't want it to be too tight either, obviously, because it's for bed and you don't want to be uncomfortable in bed. So there you go. So what I have done is laying three of these panels down, face down next to each other. I'll show you what I mean. So I just laying them down like that, side by side, with the animal print facing down. And 
what I'm going to do is just sew them together down here and down here. So I'm going to make one long strip of fabric. That is the next thing that I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew those panels together. That's the next step. Just sew them together. And I'm going to hand stitch it because I'm, I'm a maniac. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hand stitch it all and I'll meet you back here when I've done that, which is going to be like either really, really late tonight or like tomorrow. Hopefully late tonight. I want to get this done. Yeah, it is. That would be my telephone. That would be my telephone again. Oh my God. I just, uh, I don't know what to say. I, I just, I like know so many people and like, I just have so many friends. There you go, see? Um, that's like a prime example of what I mean. That's what it's like to be me. So oh, shut up and sew, do some sewing. I'm waffling on. Right, so I'm gonna sew. I'm just gonna sew like I never sewn before. Yeah, Alright, FYI, this film is shit. Okay, I think a doll did it. I don't know because I've switched it off halfway through. And not even halfway through. It was shockingly shit. Just a little tip for you. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have one long continuous strip of fabric that is going to form our boob tube top. So it's going to be like this, yes. So what we need to do is make a little hem at the top through which to feed our elastic. So all you're going to need to do for that, I'll show you this way, is just make sure that it's straight, cut it so that the fabric's one straight piece of fabric. And then you're just going to want to fold it over like that and just do a little stitch along there so that there's a nice little tube like that for you to feed your elastic through. So that is the next bit. One long tube all the way along the top of your fabric. I'm gonna go do it and then come back again. By the way, I cheated. I totally got the sewing machine out. I looked at it and I thought this is gonna take all night. So I actually got the machine out the first time this year. <laughs> I can't switch the camera off. <laughs> I can't reach the button. Okay, so I did that. So now I need to thread my elastic through. So a good tip here is to get a safety pin and clip it securely to one end of your elastic. And then that makes it really easy to feed through. So we've got our top with the little hem that we just made. And I'm just going to feed that all the way through the elastic. Oh, Marsha, are, are you bored? Do you want me to play with you? So busy. I know. Okay, so this is what you get. So now what you want to do is just put it on yourself and see how big you want it to be. Okay, so... Okay, so that's kind of, I'm quite, that's quite comfortable for me, that's quite comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I've marked how much of the elastic I don't need. So I'm just going to tie it there so I know exactly where it needs to be. So now all I'm going to do is just stitch that open bit together all the way down so that I've just got a tube. Okay, so now we have a lovely little tube top. It could be a skirt actually, couldn't it? It's a skirt. Stop there, you've made a skirt. Okay, now all I'm going to do just to finish this off is use that lace and I'm going to pin it all the way around the bottom of the top. That also means that you don't have to hem because you're not going to see it. But the good thing about the velour is actually that it rolls up like t-shirt fabric so you don't actually have to hem. Um, but that's what I'm going to do just all the way along the bottom hem of the top. I am just going to pin and sew some lovely lace like that. Okay so now it looks like that. 
It has the lace on the top. So now just to finish it off, I have some little buttons. Some little red buttons. And I'm not doing buttonholes or anything. I'm just going to sew a little line of fake buttons down the front. Just to make it look pretty. And because it isn't late enough and I haven't set up sewing for long enough yet. <laughs> um, it's like the final stretch. So yeah, I'm going to sit and sew these buttons on. And I might have turned this last bit of lace into a very fetching and attractive headband. Yep. That's what's happened. Yep, that's what's happened. Woohoo! Okay. So. Buttons. I'm doing it now. Needle. Thread. Button. Common sense. Dun, 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 dun. The finish! You really can't see them from there, can you? And they look like shit, and I'm trying to throw my camera away. So brilliant. Let me take you to the mirror, um, and you'll be able to see them a little bit better. Are you ready? Look at my hair all sticking up and stuff. I have been working on this for about four hours. I hope you like it! <laughs> Dun 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 dun! Shorty pajamas. Do you love them? Do you love? Just take another little look. Dun 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 dun! I'm really excited by them. I am. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That is how to take one pair of pajama bottoms and turn them into a fabulous little. Be better if that was central, wouldn't it? And turn them into fabulous pajamas! Woohoo! Thank you! Thanks for watching! Hang on. Hang on, let me wrap this up properly in a proper fashion. So that was it for this week. That was this week's Upcycle. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like, please subscribe, please comment. I really love when you comment. Um, and I'll see y'all next week with another Upcycle. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye!